Hello, you beautiful people. Happy Sunday and all that shit. Right, so I've got another Let's Build for you. In this one, I wanted to do something in Sanctuary again. Just because, one, I'm building up my Sanctuary 2.0, and I thought I might have some potentially interesting structures for you guys to look at. Um, so basically, this one is going to be kind of my barracks area. I was going to I had one in the last settlement, kind of, but it was kind of just this little bunkhouse that had settlers and guards in it. What I'm going to do is after I finish this one, I'm going to actually, any guards, I'm going to assign them to the beds in here. You can do that, by the way, if you, if you select a guard and com or a settler and command them, you can command them to sleep in a certain bed. So that should stop Marcy from sleeping in your bed all the time, which is fucking annoying. Um, although you can shoot with a mini nuke, that also helps as well, just saying. So basically, you sit straight forward before, nice little wooden structure on the ground. I did see what you're going to see me fill around with a little bit, because initially, I, w I know I want metal structure on the bottom with wood over the top. Now, I'm using these prefab parts here to do the center. However, I knew that I actually wanted to... Initially, basically, I was going to have... You'll see it in a minute. But I wanted the wood supports to go around, like, through the... Actually, through the metal. But it ended up being really fiddly. I'll show you when I get there. When I get there. Oh, also, I've now got Sony Vegas. Oh, my God, so much better. <laughs> I've been recording on... Um, This is the reason for the delay for the videos, by the way. is because I got paid yesterday, like a little paycheck. And I hadn't socialized. I thought, right, I'll get pissed for a couple of days. Um, You know, be a drunken twat, have loads of shots and all that grand stuffs. Um, and then get decent software, so I'd have to dick around with three-hour rending render times on a <laughs> on Windows Movie Maker. We got Vegas now, and it does it in about a quarter of the time. So you see right here, basically, I'm getting really fiddling around with these parts here. The main issue was, and why I end up scrapping it, is because for some weird reason, the the metal tab isn't very intuitive. Like, I can't. I'm using these flat metal walls here, and I can't put them in that position there, where, where they, for some reason I can't have them going round. I could do that with any other flat wooden walls, but for these metal ones I can't. Um, so I kind of do fiddle around a little bit. And then also just the foundations weren't going to be close enough that they would clip correctly. So eventually I make it just a square structure underneath, but you'll see my dicking around. Which you guys wanted, so you get to see me twat around. <laughs> um, I still use the up shack of floors you'll see in a sec, they're the best part for building on top of the metal. So I just fiddle around here. There we go, Shaq. So I was hoping maybe I could clip that in to the actual foundation. It didn't work so well. But basically these are absolutely grand. I mean, obviously they're upper floor pieces, so they're meant to be used for this, but it's it's so easy to forget just how useful they are for clipping things together. So I pop that over there, get rid of you. And this is where I just go, oh, fuck it, let's just make it square. Make it square and make it exciting. Now this one, um. You know, this is a short video. I think it's about 18 minutes or something. That's including my little outro at the end. With my awesomely badass music, which I love. Um, and you should love too. But basically, I want... Because I noticed a little while I let's build, some of the structures I was making were kind of massive. Or... I mean, this one's still pretty large. But it's not something that you couldn't build anywhere. Whereas some of the others were just like... The, that not so lighthouse as I call it um uh you know you really can't build that many places so th this is kind of what I want to do for a few of the themed episodes from now on is make them a little bit more I'll still make giant ones every now and then but I want to kind of make you guys something a bit easier or not easier but just smaller so you can kind of build anywhere I hate these pieces right here I love them they look awesome but again with the metal tab for some whatever reason they just seem to be missing half of the structure pieces see because I've got these corner bits that I can actually, you know, connect, but I can't connect them to these kind of prefab foundations. So basically, if I want walls and these metal supports, I can't actually connect them. It's really, really odd. I also had a bit of a nightmare with this twat monkey there. Get in. Get in. It's all about build order for some reason. Like, you see, you notice I'm moving them to the side. I can then plop it on the end, and it's grand. This one as well. Um, I actually recorded this one, that the, the first few parts of this, about two days ago. And that was when I was like, I need a break, because I need to think. Because I, I more or less finished it, but I was like, what can I add? Because it was missing something. I basically make a badass guard tower, which I hope you guys like, because I like. It looks cool. Um, I'm thinking of making maybe a few little mini, like, five-minute videos where I just kind of show you guys how to 
maybe build smaller little things like guard towers, those little turrets, um, kind of ray sections. Also, because I'm using Movie Studio, I've just noticed um, that this one's sped up a little bit more. <laughs> um, you can't select all and like speed. Oh, I haven't figured out how to do it yet. So occasionally some of the scenes might be faster than the others. Ah, it's all good. Living on the edge, living on the edge. Fuck it. As people have pointed out, I say quite a lot. Fuck it. It's fine. Um, so yeah, basically, we're building the wooden structure now. I'm keeping this one more as wood as possible, um, just because I wanted to avoid the scrap metal. Place the wall ends. It's looking all wall endy. What do I do now? God, I can't remember. Oh yeah, stairs. That's it. This worked really well. The upper floor. It's basically why I wanted this one to have lots of guard posts on it that people can actually go and stand. And those things are so forgiving with how they sink in. It's oh, it's awesome. They really do just... You, you can pretty much just clip. Because obviously you've got those bits of barbed wire. I'm, I'm talking about doing this because part's boring. But basically those bits of barbed wire. They... And the posts them. You can really push them into structures. So they can squeeze in the gaps that you wouldn't think they would squeeze into. That's what she said. Um, so I'll show you now. So watch this. See, so look at it. Look at it. It's clipping through the wall, but I can just place it in. I'm gonna put some railings in front of it, and this will look really grand. You know, it's the kind of barracks, throw armory. I didn't really have anything when I when I do the decorating part. There's not really much to represent an armory. It doesn't like a barracks though. I put a little office area at the top with desks and shit. I was gonna get some typewriters, but I couldn't be asked to go hunting for them. So I've got one each side. What am I doing now? I'm putting the railings in first. Living on the edge, evidently. Um, no, the reason for that was so that way I don't have to then check the guard post so much. But look, it's just so forgiving, and it looks just, it's really, really cool. I'm really liking how flexible those little ones are, because I was never using them at all, until I realised just how generous they are in terms of clipping into stuff. It was pretty grand. So I'm doing the front. I think I was gonna have... I was trying to think of how I get up here, because I, I, because again, because of how shitty the metal tab is, we didn't have any form of like indoor stairs to go through metal. So that's what the basic structure looks like. It looks pretty dull, don't worry. It looks grand. I decided, fuck it, I'll just make the front flat. And it's just going to have stairs going down the side there, and it just wasn't working. I don't know why I couldn't pop that corner bit in, as being a bit of a knob. But it's alright. What eventually I do is just go with the doorway thing and just have it going to the side. So that's a funky little staircase. Do I have two? Do I have one? I think I only have one. I think I changed my mind and take one off. I think. I was only looking at the structure a second ago, I've forgotten now. No, 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 no. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, there it is. And I take that one off. Because it looks stupid. And that ladder was being such a knobhead. I don't know why, the other one was fine, this one, nope. No, David. No, it's not going to happen, mate. God, it is fast, isn't it? <laughs> If anyone knows how to, like, a decent tutorial for, um, Sony, uh, Vegas Movie Studio, that would be grand. Send me a link. I saw a couple of good ones, but, um, um, I literally got it yesterday, and so I'm learning. It is fucking awesome, though. So much better than Movie Player. Movie Maker, whatever the hell it's called. This is where I remember keeping it to the wood. I wanted all of these buildings to have, kind of, like, a wood, less metal look, or at least for this one. And then, pretty much straight. Normally, I'd put the bridge underneath... Those stairs are raised up, but um, when you don't have, when it's too low down, because I wouldn't have put a bridge under that, I do my little post situation here, which just works so well. Oh, yeah, put the railings on first, because the posts sink in, the railings do not. Okay, so we've got any posts. Posting. These are great, because basically, you can't really clip them in, but you can place them incredibly close, and they do float a little bit off the ground. People have mentioned there's a way for you to stop that. I don't think there is. You could probably use the rug glitch, actually, on these. And then take the rug off, so you, that way you could have them, like, completely sunk in. Um, and then when you take the rug off, it would clip into the ground, but I, I couldn't be asked to do that. They're a bit fiddly, as you can see. <laughs> but once you get them in, they're fine. And they don't even have to be, like, perfectly close. Unless you go right up to them, you don't really notice. There you go, there's the basic structure done. Forgetting bits, naturally. I forget a lot of shit in this. Obviously, when I finished it, it looks grand, but, like, while I'm building, you probably know, those of you who have watched the other Let's Builds know that I always kind of go, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. And, obviously, because it's all about the build order as well, so you're going to have to take that top stairs part off again and put the doorway on, because it's being a bit of a tit. And this one, 
Oh, nice. Pretty straightforward one. I think I'm getting better at doing these episodes, to be honest. In you go. Get some funky little stairs. Uh, I think I've pointed out this before, but I reinforce it. When you're doing stairs, try and do those ones where you build your own platforms or stuff. Don't use the, I guess, the pre-made one because it's just the platform is a little bit shorter than the normal platform. So it can look weird, especially when you put railings on them. Also, I would love a different shack door because for these buildings, and anything other than a shack door, I just don't like. However, just having the same shack door in every building does look a little odd. <clears throat> well, this is where I'm pondering now because I'm like, uh, what do I add? What do I add? What do I add? So basically, I'm going to put the railings around the side first. There's... I wanted to... Annoyingly with the railings, I couldn't have them so they were going like on that side there, so the end, so there were no railings on the end. Again, I could probably the, use the rug glitch or maybe possibly try and fiddle with the order of what I put the walls in, but it's alright. It's just to add a little bit more texture. Doing the doorway. I love doing this. It looks really nice. I was actually going to have a whole little ramp area going around the side, but I opted against it, just because it was going to be an awkward little knob. You've probably noticed as well, like, because you've seen my entire thought process, you see when I forget where things are, <laughs> I'll go through different sections of the, uh, the build menu and be like, um... Where is it? What am I doing? And I do go off when I decorate. I go for a massive little session where I've gone and gotten some more. Because I hadn't... I'd spent all of my resources on my last area. And so I had to go... Sold all of my fusion cores. But I'm not intending to use power armor for a while, so it's fine. I'll do a little gaming session later today. Goes the America flag. Well, the not-so-America flag. I think this looks cooler than the America flag. Sorry, Americans, it does. It's all... I don't know why. It just looks cool. Oh, don't, 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 don't unsubscribe for me saying that. <laughs> I'm British. I don't know what I'm talking about. Shut up. Um, so now I'm just having a little bit of spasm, not knowing what else to build. Because it looks alright, but I'm like, it's missing stuff. So first things first. It needs some decking on the side, I think. Because why not? I was This is going to be a little workshop here around the outside. Pretty straightforward. And also clips it really nicely. You're going to notice after this as well, the, the astute of you, I'm going to point out my little error. I forgot, I can't remember what I did, I'd I messed up my save or done something weird afterwards, I had to reload, because I quick save quite a lot, and it auto saves when I open my um, Pip-Boy. I think I'd forgotten to record the second section, so I had to redo it again. But the save was before I did this, so when you go back here again, those railings could be in the wrong place. <laughs> so don't get confused, don't worry, this isn't like weird bizarro world, you're all grand, don't worry about it. So look, ooh, decking, all nice. Right, still not looking right. Still not happy. Having a spasm. Having a think. Shouldn't have recorded my spasms. Aha! Right, this is where I have my idea. This completed it. I really like this. I'm going to build a lot more of these. So basically, I'm checking the size first. Using junk fences. Going to the right, check the size. Shack foundation, grand. Okay, it's the right size. Cool, so about there. Another one on the top, like that. They sink in a little bit. Not an issue. That looks really spindly and shit, right? Ha ha. Using the now overused rug, mat, whatever glitch. Not here. I actually end up moving to that big one over there because this happens. This is why you need a flat um, surface. Oh, and by the way, it still works. Everyone keeps saying it's not working. I'm sorry, but you're doing it wrong. Just check what I do and go back and do it again. Um... I can't answer that question anymore. <laughs> it still works. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but basically, just sink these in. Um, and then basically, I'm going to put four of them around the bottom. And basically, it looks like a really kind of like funky little support. Like a kind of proper scrap tower with the barbed wire. It looks absolutely grand. Um, I do actually use the same wall on this one. One, because you never look at it from the same angle. But also because it's the only one that doesn't have any tires on it. There is another version, but it's just this one without barbed wire. Um, but because it's on a smaller scale and you're not staring at all four sides at the same time it looks fine I'm having a bit of a trouble sinking that one in I'm quite pleased with these towers and I'm going to put um, another little guard post at the top as well it's going to look absolutely sexy yeah that was the thing I actually literally had no idea I was like I was, initially I was going to have maybe an area where it was going to like like a, a little tower coming out of the top um, and then I just no shit so I thought right what am I going to do these look grand. It's a bit fiddly because it's very, very close to that hedge as well. So you can see me uh, struggling to get things in. See there, it wouldn't work. 
and then that other hedge. But I do get them in, don't worry. There you go. Stop stop on the twat. Stop it. Thank you. There we go. And also, I always pick them up afterwards because it stops them vibrating. So it's looking good. Last one. God, he really sped up then, didn't he? <laughs> oh, I love you, Sony Vegas. You are my bae. And I'm a British person, so I said bae. Ugh. It's alright, I'm going to be arrested now. Capital punishment, that kind of shit. So the reason why I put it to the angle is because obviously the positioning of the stairs, except this is the wrong angle, so I have to run back and do it again. What a twat, David. And you get stuck in a fence. What a loser, honestly. You limey bastard. Right. Up we go. Voila. And that is all she wrote. And that's it done. Oh, wait, no, it isn't. I've got to do the stairs. Oh, yeah, I forgot the stairs. Stop ending your videos. Oh. <laughs> I forgot to add the stairs in the video and record that part. All right, I'll leave it there, guys. Um, sorry about forgetting to add the, uh, <laughs> the turret at the top. It's basically the exact same thing with my other videos at the top there. Basically, railings. Put around the side, then pop the thing up, make the stairs. Grand. All right. You people, enjoy your day. I'm going to have another video later today, hopefully, which is going to be Spectacle Island. Um, but until then, I will talk to you guys soon. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Take care. Bye.